June is National Cancer Survivor Month, and today we're highlighting the story of a man who's taking part in a clinical trial through the Providence Health System. He's receiving a new form of treatment, and it's working pretty well. Fox News' Anna Katayama has the story. The oncologist uh, at the end of my second round of chemo sat in a chair and looked at me and said, it didn't work. We can't do the stem cell transplant, mm -hmm. but don't lose hope. I'm going to put you in for a CAR-T uh, candidate and a patient. At the end of the CAR-T, same oncologist walked in the room and said, it's clear. An emotion just almost like now just jumps up. For Dean Looking Bill, CAR T treatment has been the godsend that successfully treated his cancer. In December of 2018, he was diagnosed with diffuse large cell B lymphoma in his lower abdominal lymph nodes. Two rounds of chemotherapy did not work. We fully foresee CAR T cell therapy and other uh, adoptive immune therapies, that is, other ways of manipulating the immune system, expand. Dr. Natasha Edwin treated Dean's cancer. She explains that CAR T treatment harvests T cells from a patient, then genetically modifies them before reintroducing them into the patient. Providence also does a lot of basic science research at trying to understand what is really triggering the uh, immune system to act on cancer cells? How can we genetically engineer the, the immune system more and more to be really specific and really be that magic bullet that goes direct to the cancer cell and kills it and spares all the other cells around? CAR T treatment can have some side effects, but Dr. Edwin says usually much less severe than those associated with chemotherapy. For Dean, the bottom line is that the treatment worked when chemotherapy did not. He credits Dr. Edwin and the rest of the medical team at Providence for providing not only the treatment, but also the caring and hope that he needed. It is really important to me in cancer treatment. And um, I think one of the things, not only does your caregiving team help you hold that hope, but in your personal life, it's great to surround yourself with people who will hold on to that hope. It can be tough and you can waver a bit along the way. Anna Katayama, Fox 12, Oregon. Trials are happening now to see if CAR T is effective in the treatment of immune diseases, rheumatologic diseases, and also neurological disorders.